Hi there, welcome back. This is Sean, Discount TV and Computer Repair out of Oklahoma. Today we're going to be looking at uh, a, a very common problem with the Mitsubishi projection TVs. Uh, specifically, and this holds true for some other models as well, but this particular one uh, has to do with the WS series 65869. And I'll post that later. And the, this problem is the continuous blink. So in other words, when you're looking at the front of the TV, near the bottom, you will see the standby uh, LED light. And you go to turn the TV on, and it doesn't turn on. It just continuously blinks. No specific uh, sequence to it or, or code. A lot of these projection TVs have a built-in error code uh, diagnostic feature, uh, which tells you or points you in the right direction where to look. Now, in this case, you, when you get the continuous blink, more than likely it's the DM board not booting up. That's what we're looking at here. I'm going to come in a little bit closer, and this is exactly what you would see when you get behind your TV, and on the far left-hand side, you'll see what looks to be like this, this board here. This is the DM module, and I'm going to kind of angle the camera at the side here. You've got some cables coming out of here, and they're connected to the board adjacent to this. It's very simple to remove. A few, you've got a few screws and it simply slides right out. Now, there's about 15 screws to remove to pop the hood on this thing and take a look at the problem. And I've already removed those screws uh, for time's sake of this video. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay this down and orientate it so that we can take a look. Okay, you've got two screws to remove here. You've got one here, and you've got another one over here. And then this front panel should just simply pop right off. Okay, now I'm going to just turn this around. And these cables here on the very top, you'll have four screws to remove here as well. And then this simply pulls right off. You can take your cables and orientate your cables out of the way. Now then, what we're going to do is, you can see I've removed some, there's a screw here, there's one here, there's another screw right here, and there's three on the other side in the same position. There's also three screws right here. And as you can see, this is out of a... Let me come in a little bit and, and focus if I can. Is that going to focus? There we go. Hope you can see that. It's a WS65869 that's the model number of the TV and this is the DM board assembly okay now I'm gonna pop the hood on this thing I've got my screws removed I'm gonna orientate the board around like so now then right away we can see right here there are one two three four five six seven capacitors elect electrolytic capacitors that's more than likely going to be causing this problem. What you need to do is you need to replace all seven of these capacitors with low ESR value or low impedance capacitors. I would not recommend replacing them with general purpose electrolytic caps. It may not fix the problem. You need low ESR valued caps. Now you also have on this board, you have a surface mount fuse right here. I'll try to focus in a little bit if I can.
Okay. I'm pointing to the surface mount fuse, which is located right here. You want to check that with your meter and ohm it out and make sure that it is a low ohm reading and not open. Or you've got a problem there as well. But more than likely it's just these seven caps. Now in the event where, and this is on the DM power board here, this is, it says DM power, I think, you, I think we can see that. Now in the event where you've done that and you've resoldered these capacitors and you're still running into an issue, then in that case there's a little EEPROM board which is right here and I'm going to try to get a little bit better angle on this and they'll typically have a sticker on there almost like a UPC sticker okay and if you turn it around you'll see another okay here we go you'll see another sticker and it's it's upside down but that's the one you go want to go by that's the part number right here sequence I don't know how clearly you can see that I'll try to zoom in a little bit here okay that's the part number of this it's called the E2P board and it's an EEPROM on there and it can get blanked out so to speak and it may need to be reprogrammed. And in that case, if you can't find any, any of these online, since they're not manufacturing them anymore, you can send them off to uh, uh, PTS Corp. Uh, they will uh, reprogram them uh, for you for fee. <clears throat> if you need any further information on this, uh, feel free to send us an email. And, uh, we'll see what we can do to help you out here. Okay, so that's it. You place the more than likely you replace those seven capacitors, and and by the way, they are I believe they're one one thousand microfarad, uh, sixteen volt rated capacitors, and you want to go with a hundred and five degrees Celsius uh, rating, and uh, that's it. Replace your caps. Put your check your work. Make sure you're, you're on the bottom side of your DM board is a um, clean solder work, no splashes or bridges. Check your work. Install your boards, your caps, your board back in. Okay, it's very simple to remove this board. There's four screws on it. There's one right here. One, two three, okay, and four. Those four screws and that board will remove. And you can remove these connectors as well. Okay, replace those caps with low ESR valued caps and more than likely that will fix your problem. And don't forget to check the surface mount fuse. Hope that uh, serves useful to you and uh, fixes your problem. See you next time.